On December 2, 2022, Monroe County Sheriff deputies responded to a residence to attempt to locate two individuals who had warrants in Tomo, Wisconsin. 34-year-old Kaylee William Schaller had a felony Monroe County warrant and a Jefferson County body-only child support warrant. Her boyfriend, 34-year-old Justin Garbett, had a Minnesota probation and parole warrant and another one through Anoka County Sheriff's Office. Deputies were familiar with both of them from previous contacts and were aware Justin visited the address often. While en route, a deputy advised Kaylee was inside the house but hadn't come out yet. Yeah, I can see her moving around in here. 17 minutes. Giving her a couple commands to come out. She's verbally talking with us but has yet to exit the building. Deputies could see her pacing in the house and talking on the phone. They informed her she needed to exit the home and that she had a warrant for her arrest. She's on the phone when I saw her right here. It looked like she was going to maybe go into that branch. When asked if her boyfriend Justin was on the property, she told them he was in Minnesota. Justin's gone from mom's funeral? While waiting for Kaylee to open the door, Dispatch received a 911 call from a female stating her daughter called and told her a man with a gun had entered the Toma Walmart. When Dispatch requested further information from the female, the line disconnected. 911, what's the location of your emergency? Um, I just got a call from my daughter. She's at the Walmart and told me she said there's someone in there with a gun. Okay, and what's he doing with the gun? She doesn't know. She freaks out and ran in the bathroom and locked the door. Did she get a description of him? Um, he said he was a white guy, short, blonde hair, black pants. Okay. And how did she know? How did she see that? Um, I don't know. I don't know. She just called me. Okay. Me hold on. Hold on one second. Okay. And how did you describe him? She said he was short and white. She said blonde hair, glasses, and black pants. Can you get the information from the daughter and find out if... Kaylee, open the door so I can talk to you, okay? I don't want to break your grandma's door, okay? But I will. Okay, hold on, okay. Tiffany. Who is this? What are you Hi. doing? Are you... Yes, what are you doing? It's I'm, a cop. What are you I'm here to talking with, with her. Come on in. Don't get the door open. All right. Well, she's got to come with us. We got some questions for her. What do I have a felony warrant? Oh, I didn't go sign my bond. Correct, but Spot you up. also have a Jefferson County body only Which warrant. Which is what we're paying right now. Okay, it's body only. It doesn't have it's a bond It's body associated. only for child support, but if, she, if I pay $1,000 to child support, I have the email. I'll show it to you. Kaylee appeared to be agitated and nervous as she tried to gather information to post her warrant. Send it to me. Is your, the card connected to Apple Pay? Is it connected to Cash App? Actually, it's connected to Facebook. No. Okay, 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 just just give me the card number and I'll call and pay it myself. Grandma's right here. I'm sorry. I've been trying to handle this shit. I forgot about my war my bond completely. I just talked to my lawyer this morning. I didn't know Justin had a warrant. Okay. We didn't even know It looks warrant. like the warrant was just issued, so for oh, him. Oh, here? Yeah, for him. Dispatch advised the deputy that the number that called 911 was associated with Kaylee. When he requested dispatch to call the number, he observed Kaylee's phone go off, but she quickly declined it. Did you call 911 a few minutes ago? I might have been on accident, not on purpose. Okay. Do you have a daughter? Uh, yeah, my daughter lives hours away, though. Okay. Is she at Walmart? My daughter's in... My daughter's who called you and told you I was here. Okay, but why did you call 911 and report? I didn't say... If I did, it was not on purpose. I bet you've seen me on the phone in here calling people. I didn't see you on the phone. I was standing outside. I was trying to get a hold of her. I was calling a million different so people. So why did our dispatch center receive a 911 call stating that she received a phone call from her daughter who was at Toma Walmart and said that there was a man that walked into Walmart with a gun? I have no idea. What? I have no idea. Oh, that, this no. is getting ridiculous. No, 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 no. Okay, you can say no, 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 all you want, but that number that keeps popping up on your phone is my dispatcher calling you. I was wondering you. who the number was. Yeah, that's the number that called because okay. you called from this number. Okay, can we go talk in the kitchen for a second? So listen to me for a second. Okay. No, no, put the phone down. I want okay. you to listen and pay attention. Okay. Okay. While we were here, you were inside and refusing to come out. Yes. Okay. You were allegedly making phone calls. Okay. Which I have. Why, why did you call 911 and report that somebody was at Walmart with a gun? Well, I was told that, but I was in a hurry. I, I didn't even do it. I, to be honest with you, I've had about five minutes of a blackout since you guys have been here. I okay. remember nothing. Okay. 
So back so up. If I did, Let's back up I, to when we when we knocked on the door and made contact with you. you I was were, on the phone with Justin. And you knew the police were here and we were going to come in to arrest you. Yep, I was on the phone so with Justin. why did you call 911 and report that your daughter called you to report that there was a man at the Toma Walmart with Probably a gun? Probably because I was panicking. Okay, do you know that that's a crime and that's called swatting? No, I did not know Yeah, that. that's something that to elicit a large police response to a location. I assume you probably did that believing that we were going to take off. No, and we I, were just to be honest you with here. you, I have a lot of fucking... I'm not in my right fucking mind. Okay. I'm just freaking out. I keep, my grandma can't be here by herself. I didn't okay. know what to do. And then I You didn't just, know what to do, so you thought you'd call 911 and make a false report. I didn't know what to do. I called 911 and I was going to say something. And then I was talking to my daughter on the house phone and she starts screaming at me. Where's the house phone? In my room. Well, it was in my room. It's in the living room now. There's one right here, too. Okay. Does that show the recent calls? No, it doesn't do anything. That phone fucking sucks. Sometimes my grandma will go to call and it won't go out. It works when it wants to. And okay. I'm not lying to you. You can go ask my grandma. She'll tell you. Okay. It works no, when I, it wants I, to. I'm not worried about the, the phone working. I'm more I concerned just, with the I'm fact sorry. that... I'm sorry. I don't even know listen, what... I'm more concerned with the fact that you called 911 yes, to report idiot. that somebody was at Walmart with a gun. Okay? That elicits, one, a large amount of resources to respond to a place. Two... It's a false police report, okay? Yes. You're inciting panic. Yes. Okay? And three, it's a crime. I'm sorry, I didn't... I don't even remember doing it. I don't even remember shit. I'm sorry. I just, I wish I could tell you I remember doing it, and I don't. So you don't remember dialing 911 and then talking to a dispatcher? I have it on my call log. Okay. It was not even a full minute. Okay. That was a pretty short conversation, according to my dispatcher. And then my aunt called me. Mm -hmm. When Kaylee showed her call log, the deputy saw that she had just called Justin while they were on scene. This is my boyfriend. Is that Justin? Yeah. Okay. So 125, you talked for four minutes? Yep. Okay, so go back. And then at 130... So five minutes later, a full right, five as minutes. As soon as I got off the phone. As soon as you got off the phone, you made a one-minute phone call to him, to 911. The deputy then contacted dispatch for the 911 recording. She continued to fidget around and look out the back window at the small shed. The deputies received permission from the homeowner, Kaylee's grandmother, to check the property and ensure Justin wasn't there. Hey, is, is Justin in the garage? No, Justin's not here. You're positive? I'm positive. His they gave us permission to check the yeah, property. Yeah, you can check the garage. He's not here. Assisting deputies were clearing the backyard when they noticed a power cable running to the shed and was locked from the inside. Hmm? Yeah. I was watching that call on the way over, too. That back shed doesn't open! Well, can you follow me outside so I can talk that short at least? No, we're gonna sit right here until they get back in. It's locked. From the inside? inside. For just so you're aware, we are at the garden shed in the back, and it is locked from the inside. So he's in that back shed? No, we haven't been able to get in that back shed for years. My kids used to play back there. Why is it locked from the inside? I don't know. I had Austin Jones was living in that shed last I knew. Is anyone in there now? No, nobody's been in there. I kicked Austin out when he robbed my neighbor's house. Okay. They left a whole fucking trail of shit. Why is it locked from the inside? I don't know. I, ha I don't go back there. I haven't been back there since I kicked Austin out. I don't know. I have not been back there. Justin and I were in an argument this morning, and when I was in the garage, when he said his dad picked him up and he left, he texted me. He said he was with his dad. I can show you the message. I haven't been back to that back shed. I don't go back there. There's a light on in there, too. It's like a little lantern. On so I don't know that he's here. She made several phone calls to him while we were in there, or while she was in there waiting on us. Uh, I would lead me to believe that he's in Minnesota. Yeah, I'm not here, but this door's locked from the inside, and there's like a bed in there and shit. <laughs> so somebody's in there. Sheriff's office. 
Whoever's in the shed, come out now, or we're coming in. Who lives in this back shed? Austin Jones was the last one back there. Austin Jones? Austin. Is he currently back there right now? Because the door's locked from the inside. I have no idea if he's back there now. He was supposed to come Austin this morning. Jones. We've got a shed back here that's locked from the inside, and the property owner gave us permission to clear all of the buildings. All right, we're going to make entry in this back garage with permission from the property owner. Hey, Austin Custer, and he's got a warrant. That's who Austin Jones is, his alias. Austin, you in there? Who are you? My name's Justin. Turn around. Justin? Justin. Turn around. Yeah. Justin, look at that. Yeah. Turn around. Turn around. Get on your knees now. Get on your knees. Yeah. Hands on top of your head. Yeah. Interlock your fingers. Is there anybody else in there? No. Jillian. Justin lied to me! Justin! Anybody else in here with you? He told me he left! Is that true? Did she know you were here? Alright, Justin, stand up. You have your weapons on you? No. No needles? No needles? No needles? No needles? No Okay. Back up. I'm going to fix you real quick. I'm oh, sorry. You good? Stay in there. Nothing on you? No. What property do you have on you? Uh, Just your wallet? Phone? Phone, money, some glasses. sunglasses. Right. I'm going to double lock these real quick. God, why the f*** you don't f***ing lie to me all the time? <laughs> I'm just trying to make my mom's funeral tomorrow. Well, man, you... And then I was going to try to turn myself in then cool. went after my mom. I told my PO that same thing. Seven, two, one, roll. I was trying to make it to Minnesota to do my mom's funeral tomorrow. All I have to do is make it up tomorrow and I'll turn Entry myself made. In. I have Justin detained. You want to confirm that 99? You living back there, bro, or what? You just crashed in K there. Kaylee, Kaylee, stop. Stop. You know I didn't. Figure out where that ant is coming from and then detain her. I'm being told by my sergeant that we're just gonna go. Alright? I can't hear you. Okay. She knew you were here and didn't leave. She's just covering for you. I understand that. So, right now, I'm just gonna put your phone on the table. I'm gonna have you stand up. Okay, walk over to me, face the window, and then have your hands behind your back. Can I put a sweater on? We'll just go like that and I'll bring a sweater. Can I just hit a. You hit that button for me? Go ahead and hit whatever you wanna hit. What are you doing? Probably Grandma, I have to go, Grandma. I have to go until Jefferson clears my warrant. It was paid. I showed him. I paid it and everything. Justin was hiding in the back shed. He was back there now? Yeah. You can ask my Grandma. We were fighting this morning. He told me he left. I have the text. Yo. I'm not used to wet other people's noses. Well, Grandma, I got it snot hanging from my face. There's some hanging from my hands. Can you help me? I got snot hanging from my face. So, all of you walk to the front of my squad right here, 27. Alright, nothing on you, no bombs, grenades, anything like that. Do you want help walking? Or are you going to be able to make it? Warrant, I think swatting. I don't know what else he may be adding. Right. Which the one's a swatting, I think is class I. What is it? Swatting. 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 Calling places and eliciting an emergency response. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Kaylee was charged with felony counts of bail jumping times three. Swatting. False reporting of an emergency, misdemeanor counts of obstructing an officer, bail jumping, and false emergency 911 call. Justin was arrested and transported to Monroe County Jail for his probation and Minnesota warrants. Kaylee was released on a $2,000 signature bond. Support Code Blue Cam by joining our Patreon to get exclusive access to content, behind the scenes, giveaways, and much more. <laughs>